am not a body, I am free. I am still spirit as God created me. I am not a body, I am free. I am still spirit exactly as God created me. I am not a body, I am free. I am still spirit exactly as God created me. Welcome to the video. I have a slight correction to make to uh, some previous videos. I said the uh, Dawn Space probably would reach series uh, on uh, today, the 5th of February. I meant the 5th of March, but interestingly, even sometimes even your mistakes are accurate because actually we now have the first clear photographs of, of the surface of Ceres coming out uh, late the 4th and the 5th uh, of February and we're now starting, the, the interest is now starting to build the, the uh, so it's it's on, it's on uh, something is going to happen around this the, the, this, there's, the whole situation of the world is just fraught with how do you want to say what's going to happen but what we're going to talk about first here is spiritual technology. And what I say is that the spiritual technology that actually Jesus has given us in the more recent uh, works of A Course in Miracles and Journey Beyond Words, Jesus gave us spiritual technology in the Bible, absolutely. Uh, but we have now some very, very, very powerful spiritual technology available to us. And it is this spiritual technology which enables us to, it's, let's put it this way, it's better than the technology that the CCC has, the Cosmic Corporate Culture Alliance. Uh, and they have some very nasty technology. I would say, you know, with the technology we're aware of in the world now, maybe it's like 1% of what's available, what's actually going on. 1%. Let's, let's give it that. Uh, we are in the dark for the most part about what kind of technology is really being used on us. Some of it is so advanced we, we don't even aware of it, but it is certainly possible and has been said by many that they're aware of they're being affected by you know various technology being used and it's causing problems in their mind and, and various things and you know people tend to dismiss them but I have an open mind to that uh, because of the possibility that, that it shows up in dreams that they're somehow uh, broadcasting, transmitting uh, extremely frightening, bizarre, grotesque, uh, uh, vicious kind of imagery and content uh, to try and uh, shock us and demoralize us at a very subconscious, subconscious level. Now it's very possible that the technology that Jesus has brought, made us aware of, is for the purpose to nullify that and I can testify that uh, in this recent dream I had of, of, of a battlefield that, that was Genghis Khan uh, and I believe it was Urgench uh, in the between Turkestan and uh, Kazakhstan and Turkestan and that in that area uh, and seeing a, a like as I was literally there like I somehow got back, gone back in history and was witness to what actually happened and and it was embellished even it seems like I did not freak out. I did not lose my nerve. In fact, I kept my calm. Incredibly. This is due to the techno spiritual technology of Jesus. Having uh, been practicing this for now 37 years, uh, I, this is quite, quite impressive to say the very least. Uh, that was a spectacle which is beyond description actually. <laughs> It was beyond description. It was so macabre. It was completely beyond description. And yet, sort of, it just didn't spiritually get to me. It's like I, like my foundation is on a rock. You know, it doesn't matter how strong the wind blows, the rock doesn't move at all. <clears throat> so, it may very well be that we need the spirit spiritual technology to counter subliminal, subconscious, all sorts of this technology that is could be being used in the world right now to affect our minds, to try and affect our beliefs, our thoughts, our actions, all of this stuff. We're, we're being uh, indoctrinated probably by some very 
sophisticated technology that the CCC has, which is a cosmic corporate culture who, who is incorporating this world even as we speak. And we will be their colony. We will be their colony. And we're, this is where we're at. We're going to where we're basically at. And they use this technology to keep the hive, the colony, very subservient. Very subservient to them. Now, people have been talking about this for quite some time. And, you know, the, the problem is, is that those who have spoken about this tend to be a little unstable. They tend to, it, it just, the impression they give is, is you kind of say, ah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure, maybe they're a little cuckoo or something, but there's been so many of them. Uh, and then when you experience these attempts on your own sanity, they just come out of absolutely nowhere. And, and I, you know, I was just such an anomaly. I just said, what in the world is this? This is, this is just some, this just doesn't fit with my life, with anything. You know, it does, it, it, and, and so I, I, I flagged it as, as a severe anomaly. And I said, where is this coming from? What, why is this showing up? Uh, I don't think it came from my own psyche in terms of, you know, this is what I'm going to dream about. No. Very unlikely. So it, it, it is something... We know all the video games in the world now, all this stuff, people are super saturated with, with, with violence and all this kind of things. And it seems like they want us to get into this primitive reptilian brain sort of state of mind. They, they, want, they want us to drop our spiritual clarity and reasoning and understanding. They want to impair our reason, I would say. I would say this dream was designed to impair my reason, uh, to, to bring about some sort of primal shock. It was sort of some sort of primal shock therapy. And it didn't work. It didn't work. Which is very nice indeed. I give the thanks to, to the te spiritual technology that Jesus has advised us about. The spiritual technology exists for everybody. Uh, Jesus is just telling us, hey, this is available to you. So I am not a body, I am free, I am still spirit as God created me. Let that be your go-to mantra. It's actually a mantra. I am not a body, I am free, I am still spirit exactly as God created me. Now I had a dream last night where I had some reaction from uh, some comments, etc., coming on my videos upcoming, was very negative, very hostile, very negative, and very angry and stuff like that. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's conceivable too. I think I think uh, that, that 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 people are now being driven to 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 be very reactive, very primal, reptilian brain, uh, lacking civility. Uh, so. What we need to do is to continue to practice both spiritual technology, which is super important now, super, super important. I've been emphasizing this and emphasizing it and emphasizing it, trying to not, not to get too much into the conspiracy without rejecting it. I don't reject what people say about what's going on in the world, but my whole emphasis has been to develop the spiritual technology so we can diffuse it so it doesn't bother us, can't, can't bother us at all. You see, cannot impair our reason. Our reason is super important. Because our reason is spiritual reason. Spiritual reason. Reason has its foundation in truth. Spiritual truth. Okay. It's not the intellect. No. It has its... The reason has its foundation, its premise in spiritual truth. In the oneness, the one all-inclusive identity that is. And it tells us that, that, that there is no other identity. We cannot get outside of our identity to see this identity, to experience it from an outside view standpoint. Even though that's what we're trying to do, it's futile. Reason tells us it's futile. Now, when we try to, to be greater than God and try to get outside of the all-inclusive identity, which has no, it's all-inclusive, so it has no outside to it, um, we feel a sense of conflict because we can't do it. And we're denying what we are. We can't even be aware of what we are when we're trying to see see what we are from outside. Uh, uh, you know, outside of what is all inclusive, we feel like we're blind. I don't. I don't see it anywhere. We feel a sense of conflict. We this, we call this guilt. Very severe feeling that we we can't stand it, and we try to get rid of it. <clears throat> now, what we have done is we made the body. The body is a device to project guilt onto. That's what it is. We came up with this idea. So let's project guilt outwards, so even the outwards, upon the body. And let's blame the body for the guilt. Of course, when you put the guilt 
is coming from the body. See, we say that the body is the one producing the guilt. And that's why we're feeling it. When you put the guilt on the body, then there's several other avenues that you, you, you take. And one of them is you try to then bring pleasure to the body. We think that happiness and pleasure uh, to the body will get rid of the guilt. Okay. And this is, this is, and then the other one is to punish the body <laughs> and, and blame the body and kill the body, sacrifice the body, get rid of the guilt that way. Guilt, body has absolutely nothing to do with guilt whatsoever. We've, we've, this is just a device, body is just a device we've made to, to project guilt onto. It's like a screen. We're projecting the movie on and blaming the screen for the content of the movie. It's spirit that is feeling guilty, trying to be greater than God trying to change what it is, trying to change the will of God, and feeling like it doesn't know what it is, it's lost its identity because it's trying to find a vantage point outside of what is all-inclusive, which is, there is no outside of what's all-inclusive. And then spirit then frag hallucinates fragmentation and says, well, I can see part of what I am, and, and then, then I can see this part that is beyond that what, I'm, what I am, and, and it gets into this hallucination of fragmentation, which really isn't there. A hallucination of time, space, process, and form, actually. Uh, so, what we do is we try to, we cater to the body. We cater to the body, for the most part, right? And everyone thinks they're supposed to make the body happy. The body is is, is where our answer is, and where our answer lies is, is we've got to. And so we, you know, we become slaves. We become slaves. Of, of the body's so-called needs, which, by the way, are all projected on the body. According to Jesus, the body has no needs, including the need to eat, breathe, sleep, do anything. It's actually, the body is actually cannot be harmed in any way, he says, except that we project these, all these needs upon the body. The better to think that, uh, that the lack of fulfilling these needs is producing some sort of guilt, and that by fulfilling these needs, we can get rid of the guilt. So spirit is not owning the guilt, it is projecting the guilt onto the body. And this is what these folks of the CCC uh, seem to be all about, is uh, they want us con to continue to believe that the guilt is, the origin of guilt is the body. And to do what they recommend, to how to treat the body in the right way, what the way they want us to treat the body, to be enslaved to, to, the, to the needs of what their bodies, that what they claim they need. Is he, when you when you when you try to get the need to satisfy guilt, get rid of guilt through the body, you end up becoming very demanding, very much enslaving. You want others to, to help you out, do what you want them to do, and, you know, and say so you need to do this for me, this for me, this for me, because this isn't enough, this isn't enough. It's never enough. It's never enough. It's never enough. And you become more and more arrogant, haughty, controlling, and you end up uh, as part of the CCC taking over other planets, incorporating more. They need more, 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 more like this. Uh, it's, it's terrible. It's really terrible, actually. So we try to make the body happy. We try to make the body do amazing things. Like, oh, look at that. You just hit a 300-yard drive. Wow. You know, look what you just did, body. And we're thinking, hopefully that'll get rid of the guilt. You know, or you just you just did something wonderful. You know, you got married. You, did, you say, okay, maybe that'll get rid of the guilt. You see, so we're trying all these things with the body to get rid of the guilt. And the guilt is, is not in the body, it's not caused by the body. It, it, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And apparently the CCC doesn't really want us to know this. It doesn't because then this, this gives us tremendous clarity and insight uh, and options that you know, we're not enslaved anymore to the body, right? It's very important. I am not a body, I am free, I am still spirit, exactly as God created me. This is this puts our our reason on, on on a rock of stability. Also, I know I know I've already successfully realized that I don't need to successfully realize. I I know I'm al already successfully free of the need of becoming successfully free. Right? Yeah. The, 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 these practices, I know I'm already successfully free of the need to become successfully free. See, we're, we're already free of the need of becoming anything at all. 
this idea of becoming is time, right? We think we're, be we're, we're growing into this new perspective outside of all inclusivity, but we're not. But we need space-time process form at least to pretend that something's going on. Something's going on. At least we say there is. Some progress is being made, we say, uh, even though it's not. So, uh, I know I have already arrived. I, I know I have already successfully arrived at where I don't need to successfully arrive at. I know I've already or successfully arrived at where I don't need to successfully arrive at. You see, I don't need to, this whole idea of success is success in being outside of all our all-inclusive identity, and then being aware of that from from outside of it. You see, beyond it, outside of it, there is no such success. All inclusivity does have any any concept, any notion of success. See, there, what does there succeed at? Does it say, oh, there's something beyond me. I need to reach beyond me and succeed at that. No, there's nothing There's nothing like that. All is inherently uh, all-inclusive. All-inclusive, one, seamless. <clears throat> I know I have already successfully finished what doesn't need to be successfully finished. <laughs> I know I've already successfully finished what doesn't need to be successfully finished. I know. Uh, I know I'm already enlightened that I don't need to become enlightened. I know I'm already enlightened that I don't need to become enlightened. I know I'm already enlightened that I don't need to become enlightened. I know I've already successfully. Well, I should have said successfully. I know I've already. I know I'm. I know I have already. I'm already successfully enlightened that I don't need to be become successfully enlightened. I know I'm already successfully enlightened that I don't need to become successfully enlightened. I know I have already successfully attained what I don't need to successfully attain. I know I've already successfully attained what I don't need to successfully attain. This is spiritual technology that we're sharing here. This is real spiritual technology, which is better than their technology. Okay, this is the bottom line. Spir our spiritual technology is better than what the CCC has. It's stronger stuff. It is stronger stuff. The only problem, problem we have is that we don't use it. That's it. That's it. If we used it, it, it works. It works. So what they're trying to do, the CCC, is to prevent us from using the spiritual technology. By what? Dumbing us down. Dumbing us down. They have to be careful at doing this. We might get <laughs> upset with them. <laughs> you see? So they're very careful in dumbing us down. And they've been doing a very clever job of it for quite some time here in this world. This is why I say stay away from television, movies, books, magazines, newspapers, internet for the most part, news, uh, popular culture. Be very careful and try to stay away from it as much as possible because it's designed to dumb you down. It's absolutely designed to dumb you down. When, when you're aware of the spiritual technology and then you look at the world and pop culture and what's going on, you, f you can immediately feel how it, it, it is designed to distract you away from spiritual, your spiritual technology, your spiritual clarity. That's what it's designed for, actually. Because if we have the spiritual technology, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to incorporate this world. <laughs> they're not. As a matter of fact, we become aware that there really isn't. One of the greatest fiction perhaps there is is that there is a world, the belief that there is a world. Okay. In other words, that there's some something outside of us. You know, the idea that there's something outside of our identity shows up in this world as a reflection, thinking that we're a body and the world is outside of us. There's something outside of us. The fact is there's nothing outside of our mind. So there is no quote-unquote world at all. There's nothing that happens to us from a world. See, the idea of the world is there's this huge there's planet here, and all the stuff on the planet is happening to us. But nothing is happening to us because there's nothing outside of us. It's all world, all one. Nothing can happen to us that we don't decide, oh, this is uh, what I want to experience. So 
there can be no conditions, there can be no situations, no circumstances, no illnesses, no nothing that is happening to us. So in that definition, there isn't any world. There is not, and that's what they don't want you to know. You see, because then it's what they, the needs that they feel is going to get rid of the guilt. We'll get, you say, I'm free. You're free too. Well, there's no guilt. What do you tell? We're all equal. We're all one. So they, they have been working to dumb this world down in many, 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 many ways. Uh, illness is very interesting because if you just be aware of your illness, then you start being aware it's a mental, mental thing. If you rush to take medicines, 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 blocks it out. You know, you, you, you're distracted, you're severely distracted. So when I have something wrong, I never think about medicines. It never even crosses my mind. I just say, oh, why did I decide to feel this way? And then start looking at it. And then you start finding out some very interesting stuff, for sure. Now, if you're not able to do that, that's fine. Uh, or if you need a little assistance with some medicines, that's, of course that's fine. It's not a problem. But just keep in mind what's going on. So, the CCC wants to dumb us all down, impair our reason, or get at least get us to accept the belief that our reason is impaired, so that we do not realize that there is no world. You know, there is no world. And uh, we're not trapped anywhere. We're not trapped anywhere certainly not trapped in the body. I am not the body and I am free. I am still spirit as God created me. And there they use all these very devious, devious, devious tactics with the clever, clever technology that they have devised. However, we have better technology than they have. They have better technology. That's why I drew a line and said, forget my interest in the technology of the world anymore. I'm not going to keep, you know, uh, running after it. I'm not going to keep running after it. It's endless, isn't it? You get caught up in that, it just consumes you. And I realized this after having been consumed by it. Is new versions, new this, new this, you got to upgrade this. You become pulled in like into a black hole of technology and you don't have any time left to really study spiritual technology. So I said, look, enough's enough. I reached a point, I said, that's, that's it. Enough's enough. It's now time to study spiritual technology because this is what's really needed. This other stuff is just a distraction. So spiritual technology is all about affirming that I don't need to become anything whatsoever. I don't need to arrive anywhere, finish anything, be enlightened, attain anything, reach anything. Uh, I don't need to become anything at all. I already am all-inclusive. All I already am all-inclusive. That's all. That's it. I already am the all-inclusive one identity. All is already the one inclusive identity. And it's impossible to get outside of that. And so the idea that somehow I'm going to, I need to succeed at being quote-unquote enlightened and seeing the one all-inclusive identity as an object you see, that's impossible. That's impossible. So this is when we talk about success, worldly success. Ultimately, that is what we're trying to do. We're trying to objectify reality. We're trying to objectify reality. And that cannot be accomplished. But the more we project guilt on the body, the more we're, we feel frantic to objectify reality. And we use the body in, 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 in ways of, of working on this objectification, feeling there's a world out there, and, and I'm here, there's a world out there, and uh, the world out there needs, to, I, need, I need it to be a certain way so that this body's needs can be satisfied, so I can be happy, so I can get rid of the guilt, and it goes on and on. It's a nasty, nasty uh, trap we have laid for ourselves. And it's not getting any better with this technology of the CCC, Cosmic Corporate Culture. And uh, as far as I can tell, they really play hardball. I mean, this dream that I had, this was really hardball. <laughs> yeah, they must be desperate, huh? I mean, they really made the big one on me. It's probably, it's probably the, 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 the most horrific uh, day in the history of the planet, which they showed me in, t in terms of just, uh, just flat out, ah, 
in unspeakable atrocity, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, they laid that on me. He said, they're, they're getting serious. They're, they're, throwing, they're, they're, they're knocking me down. They're throwing at my head here, you know. And got out of the way. And knocked me down. I jumped and smiled, you know. And just like uh, Ernie Banks, the smile get up and said, hey, let's play two here. And then hit the next ball over the fence. Uh, so, yeah, they're getting desperate. I, I said that they're going to really get take off the gloves in, in, in the, starting in, the, in late December for the next 18 months through June 21st, 2.16. They're going to take off the gloves and try to finish us off. So uh, by that point, they will be easily able to manipulate the planet and, and bring about all sorts of crises and troubles, whatever, to, 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 to justify you know, and forget us to call them, help, 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 we need help, look what's happening, and this is awful, you know. And they come riding in on the white horse and say, oh yeah, we're here to help, gosh, thought you'd never ask. Uh, so, it is very important to keep your sense of humor, super, super important, because a sense of humor has to do with, means your reason is not so impaired. When you, when you have a sparkling wit, you know, it, it, it means your reason isn't so impaired, right? It's when you lose your sense of humor and you just feel so dragged down by everything and you just can't find any any humor in anything. It's just, wow. Uh, so, but we need a spiritual humor. Maintain our sense of spiritual humor. How absolutely silly and ridiculous all these defenses that we have used are. All this crazy impaired reasoning that we use. You know, when we look at that from a standpoint of, 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 of clear reasoning, it is quite... So it is quite funny, actually. <laughs> like a bad joke. You know, like a really bad joke. Sometimes really bad jokes are funny. And this whole situation here is a really, really bad joke. <clears throat> that somehow we're, we're working on being outside of what, what is all inherently all-inclusive. And that we think, we're, we think we're getting something there, you know. Or, and, and maybe if we send our space probes out far enough, you know, we're going to... We're gonna find something that's important out there, uh, and, and you know, it's, it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious what we do, and we need to be able to laugh at ourselves, really, and, and that helps us loosen it, loosen it up and say, "Ah, that, that is okay. <laughs> that's funny. Let's put that one down. Let's let, let's let go of that one." That is. Uh, <clears throat> so we all we always try to, you know, stay stay happy and laughing here. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a positive frame of mind and, and allow our reason to let go of all these impairments that are dragging it down. We don't need those impairments. And keep in mind that all we need to do, all that's going to happen to us is we're just going to be normal instead of trying to be bizarrely abnormal by trying to objectify reality. <laughs> that's, that's an attempt to be greater than God, right? It's a bizarrely abnormal, uh, bizarrely eccentric, They probably might be saying that I'm being bizarrely eccentric, <laughs> even though I'm actually going toward normalcy, right? That's the thing. We think that those who go toward normalcy are like, weird, wow, what is that mystic, what's going on with them, you know, but that's just, they're going back to normalcy. You want to know someone's normal? Jesus, for instance, they're normal. You know, entirely normal, just normal. This is just normal spirit. This is spirit. This is the oneness. This is the all-inclusive oneness. This is normal. Ramana Maharshi, normal. This is normal. People thought he's so abnormal. No, that's normal. He says, There's, the body's nothing. There's, the body's not the cause of anything whatsoever. So I don't need to make the body happy. I don't need to do anything for the body. ourselves deep, deep hole, huh? Uh, it, it, it's not easy to come out of such bizarre eccentricity. Uh, it really isn't. It's kind of a quagmire, actually, that 
that happens. It, it, well, the confusion gets so bad that you can't figure out. You can't see. You're like blind. You can't see clarity at all. You see his confusion. The confusion is so severe and deep. You just can't see anything. You can't figure anything out really as far as truth goes. You just you feel lost. And you can't find any reference points. And, and, and it's, uh, it's 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 just really like a hall of mirrors. And, and, and you can't find yourself in any of the mirrors like that. So it's no bueno to uh, to go in that direction. It really isn't. So full stop in the wow, a little bit full stop in the wow here of just catching our breath, catching our breath. Pineapple Express is coming into California. Which means rain, means rain, means rain. Uh, it is the atmospheric river from the tropics that is piping up this moisture to us. So we're just waiting for that to hit here. And it's supposed to give a lot of rain to Washington, Oregon, Northern California. In fact, copious amounts, so over, could be over 10 inches in places, very heavy rainfall. Bay Area, not, not supposed to get that much, maybe an inch, a couple inches, something like that. But we're pretty excited about it, you know, it was great, it's a rain, this is wonderful. So now we go back, I am not a body, I am free. I am still, spirit has got exactly as God created me. civility, which our good spiritual humor, which means that our foundation is on a rock. The more we practice this spiritual technology, the more we can keep to this a sense of stability and humor and, and, and feel like we don't need to really react to events the way that they want us to react to events. It's very important that we realize we don't have to react to events the way that they suggest and have programmed us to react to them. See, we, we've been indoctrinated and programmed to react in a certain ways. That's why I had that dream of Genghis Khan and or Orgensh uh, massacre. Uh, and the Khan came up to me, and General Khan, and says, Oh, what do you think? What do you think? Which means, What's your reaction? <laughs> what's your reaction? Is what he's asking. And I just said, uh, wow. That's what I said. I said, oh, wow. <laughs> I guess which wasn't exactly what he was expecting. But I guess I can, we cannot always please everybody <laughs> all the time, huh? So you may be getting some nice rain in the background, but uh, 
tapings coming up. Some wind, some rain, some nice atmospheric soundtrack. There's a wonderful soundtrack always been taking place here. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> You might want to practice uh, not responding the way that they're supposed to be probably going to respond. Of course, then they'll, they'll call us the work centrics. You know, you're not you're not uh, reacting the way we program you to react. Uh, there must be a glitch in the software or something. You know. <laughs> well, they're programming us to react like we're imbeciles. That they're programming us to react as if our reason is impaired, and that we believe that we are a body, we believe that the body is a source of guilt. They're, they're programming us with that, which we know is counter intuitive, counter reason, counter spiritual technology. So he said, No, I'm not eccentric, I'm just using spiritual technology to keep you from making me eccentric. <laughs> right? Okay, so we can. Uh, introduce, we'll see if this works or not in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I call it general con exercises where we maintain our civility, our wit, our reason. We don't buy into the belief that anything happened here happens to anybody. Everything that takes place is a mutual agreement of, of mind. Nothing takes place outside of the mind. Everything is scripted. Everything we just accept. Okay, let's have this appearance, this appearance, this appearance. Each moment we're choosing appearance. So if we want to choose to appear to be dead, we'll choose to appear to be dead. No one actually kills anybody. The mind cannot attack at all. And so, so we know all this stuff. So we say, oh, these general God says, what do you think? What do you think about this? You know, you're expecting it. I say, hey, high five, general. <laughs> hey, general, high five. You know, just like that. Uh, fist bump, fist bump, general, fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, he's laughing and smiling. Yeah. Let's see. My right, gosh. So, I've written down a little few, a few things. You say, you can always say, what do I think? I think Jesus loves you, general. You know that Jesus loves you, or I am. What do I think generally? I think I, I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Well, General, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Keep a step up or lip. Rome wasn't built in a day. You know. Huh? <laughs> this is non sequitur. You can throw non sequiturs, you know, just, right? He wants you to react the way that they have tried to script you to react. So we go off script. Their script, which is actually an eccentric script. So I'm not buying that eccentricity, General. That's a tough, tough uh, road to hoe. That is for sure. Hey, what, what do I think? Hey, 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 up, dude. Really, bro? <laughs> I mean, you mad, bro? Maybe you mad, bro, huh? Absolutely. Uh, somebody needs a hug. Looks like somebody needs a hug, General Khan. Come here, General Khan. You need a hug. Uh, General Khan, repent and be saved. Repent and be saved. Repent and be saved. That's what I think. Uh, you look like you have a little hitch in your giddy up there, General. You know, General. Have you have you have you have you tried analysis? Have you tried analysis yet? I could recommend you might want to try analysis. You know, a good an analyst actually. Recommend one to you. Won't, won't pass it around or anything like that. You know. <laughs> uh, or you could just start laughing. He 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 ha 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 ho 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 he he ha 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 ho 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 he 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 ha 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 you know, General, sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. Almond joints got nuts and mounds don't. Hmm. How do I feel, General? Uh, what, what, what do I think? I feel like dancing. I feel like dancing, dancing, the dance. Let's dance the night away, General. I really feel like dancing the night away. That's how I feel. Boogie down, boogie down, boogie down, let's boogie down, General. <laughs> What do I think, General? I think it's Bush's fault. Of course, it's Bush's fault. Absolutely. <laughs> General, I, I, 
I, I, I suggest you might want to meditate a little more, you know, get into some meditate, try general, you know, it might work out, what do we got here? Um, general, I want to tell you something that he, even Wagner could not encapsulate this scene in, an, in his operas. What's that design a roller or something? You could not even design a set like this, General. Are you kidding me? You're missing your calling in life, General. You should be, you should be putting on operas. Are you kidding me? My God, let's go put on some operas, General. Uh, so the General, General Khan comes up. You know, the idea you're responding to, he says, so what do you think? You're, you're looking out, and there's this, this vast landscape of, of, of just corpses. All you see is just everywhere, corpses in the most uh, macabre way. Every single corpse has been <laughs> ill-treated in different ways, unimaginable ways. It just goes on and on and on. And just, you know, the, the general saying, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think? Like, well, uh, General, uh, hey, General, do you know what time it is? Uh, I don't have my watch. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> uh, what do I think, you know, General? I'm kind of free in my mind from thinking these days. You know, I'm really not into thinking so much. Not thinking so much. I think I could have had a V8. I'll tell you that. I could have had a V8. Uh, and I think that thinking is overrated, General, it's very overrated, don't you think that thinking is very overrated? Okay. Uh, General Khan, I must advise you that I'm issuing a, a citation for drunk and disorderly conduct. You can pay this fine as Samarkand, uh, pull rank on the General there. What do I think, General? I think everything's perfect. I don't think I know everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Absolutely. General, could you tell me what tell me what direction Buka, um, Bu Bukhara is? <laughs> I, I hear they have some very nice silks there. I want to get to Bukhara. I, I'm not quite sure which direction to go in. You silly little boy, General, my gosh, why are you bothering with such trifles as the trifles, General? It's better than I don't even trifle with this stuff. Come on. Hey, General, wait a minute, open up. Open up wide, 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 wider, wider, wider. Oh, my God. I think you need to see a dentist. Uh, good foot for you. I worship you. I know a very good dentist. Don't worry. Uh... <laughs> Well, General, I always say the briefest of goodbyes are the best, so I bid you adieu and adieu and adieu. That's it. Here's looking at you, kid. Huh? Here's looking at you, kid. Yeah, that's great. Had a tough day at the office, General. That's <laughs> really what, bad quarterly report? Is that, is that what it is? A bad quarterly report, huh? Yeah, it's too bad. <sighs> You having trouble with the missus, General? Is everything okay at home? Yeah. Well, uh, <clears throat> have you had your uh, prostate checked recently, General? I heartily recommend that. How about <laughs> a colonoscopy? Maybe a colonoscopy would help, possibly. Feeling a bit bipolar these days, General. Yeah, a little bit bipolar going on here. A little bipolar is the issues, huh? Possible, huh? General, uh, did you forget your meds today? Is that what's going on here? Uh, excuse me, General. <coughs> Do you have a hanky? I yeah, sneeze it. Yeah, okay. Thank you, General. <clears throat> so, General, tell me something. What do you do when you're not having so much fun? I mean, you seem like a real fun guy here, but what do you do when you're not, you know, when you want to be serious? You know, it's... it's so I was kind of a serious guy. I wasn't interested. You know, what do you do when you want to be serious, General? <sighs> General, <clears throat> I didn't get today. I didn't get to where I am today by not recognizing a man with metal in them, General. But I highly advise you, General, that you clean up that beard and shave and 
clean man, clean cut man, as an honorable man, as a trustworthy man. Uh, excuse me, General, I need to get back home now. I need, excuse me, I need to get back home. I'm awfully sorry, General, but I'm in a bit of a rush. Uh, let's take a rain check. Hey, General, let's do lunch sometime, okay, man? Baby, hey, baby, how are you? Let's do, let's do lunch, baby. Yeah. See you around. Penny for your thoughts, General. Penny for your thoughts. And <laughs> General says, what do you think? Uh, excuse me, General, but uh, uh, do you mind if I play through? Mind if I play through that? Now, let's see, where's the hole up there? Uh, checking my yardage here. Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. What a very, what a very good sport you are, General. So, General, I ask you, what do you think about the mask? What do you think? General. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Wow. Deja vu. Right? I just, I know I've experienced this whole thing. I knew exactly what you're going to say. Do you believe in deja vu, General? Do you believe in deja vu? Yeah. General. Are you asking me what I think you're asking me? Huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, General. Well, General, I tell you what, I think I think some days are better than others, you know? Some days are better than others. Sorry, General. No I got no autographs today. It's my policy. I, I, I don't sign autographs. Sorry, I'm not able to accommodate you. Uh General. What's the password, General? Need the password. Come on. Sorry. But I gotta I gotta have the password from you. Yeah. What's the world coming to, General? Some days you just can't find a friend. Some days you just can't catch a break. You know, what's the world coming to anyway? Hey, General. You like bar you like barbecue and me and my buddy Billy Joe Bob and Jimmy Joe Ray and we got a nice little barbecue joint down the bayou there, General. We're gonna we're gonna we got this special marination sauce. I'm telling you, General, make our little taste just as good as a possum. So y'all come down and see us sometime here. Uh God bless your little heart, General. When you're in my neck of the woods, you come by and see me sometime, huh? We'd love to see you. Love to see you. Um, wow, you know, General, this is—I've always wondered, you know, considering how, how things work out, like in, in such synchronous ways. It's all—it's all seemingly working together here, flowing together, and happening just like the way it's supposed to happen. And you and me getting together and meeting like this, General, you know, it's like it's meant to be. It's like something cosmic. It's like something that is inevitable. And it's just truly, truly inspiring. And, 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 and it just blows my mind how this is just the way it's supposed to be for us, you know? It's just, wow, it's completely far out. Completely far out, General. You know, you know, and you know, you know, General. I've set up this foundation, uh, you know, to help people learn to get along with one another. I've been really working hard and traveling around the world, uh, helping out this foundation. It's something very important, you know, General. I think that you could be very helpful to us in, in our foundation. And I'd like to sort of tap your brain and tap your ideas, and and uh, hopefully you can get on board with us, General. Um, hey, General, here's my card. You can reach me at this number and call me sometime. Let's stay in touch, okay? Great. <clears throat> Don't be a stranger, General. Do not be a stranger. Well, I'll tell you, General, it, just, it, sure, it sure ain't don't look like Paris in springtime, but, uh, you know, it'll do. It'll do. It'll do. Hey, General, every dog has its day. You know, every dog has its day. Adios, Pilgrim. Adios. Well, I tell you what, General, nothing real can be threatened, and nothing unreal exists. Dig that.
You know, General, I got a bone to pick with you. You told, you told me you're gonna meet me here at 3.30, and it's now four o'clock. It's not four o'clock, and I, I, mean, I gotta move, baby. You know, I got stuff to do. I, come on, man. What do I think, General? Well, General, I whoa, did you see that, General? Wow. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Did, did you see that? Did you see, did you see what just happened? <laughs> What was that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hi, General. Hi, hey, it's Elvis. Son of a gun. It's Elvis right over there. Look, 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 look. It's Elvis. Wow. Excuse me, General. It's Elvis. Uh, man, General, it's all in the stars, I'm telling you. It's all there in the stars. <laughs> wow, man. It's all so beautiful, man. It's like it's all flowing, man. It's all flowing together. You see, it just all flows together into one general. Yeah. Just look at it, man. It's totally beautiful, man. Let's just sit here, bro. Just be quiet together and just... Yeah. Wow, nothing needs to be said, right? Yeah. And it is like all so powerful. General is also powerful. Like, can you feel the harmony of it? The harmony there, you see? It's all in harmony, just like the way it is. Wow. It's very powerful. Full stop in the wild, General. Full stop in the wild. Well, I think it's getting a bit late. And uh, time isn't on our side, really, General, is, is it? It's, it's a shame. So I think we're going to wrap this up now, General. I'll be the Zen, and uh, hopefully we meet again. We meet again. Wonderful. All blessings in the all-inclusive identity of oneness, General. You see? <laughs> Just keep feeding that. Just keep feeding that. Just keep, uh, keep along those lines. Keep along those lines. The general con exercise, as I call them. We can call them that, the general con exercises. So we have a full stop in the wow, we have I am not a body, I am free, I am still spirit exactly as God created me. I know I already succeeded, I've already succeeded in realizing that I don't need to succeed in realizing that is grounding ourselves on the rock of being, of nowness, and Accepting that we don't need to become anything whatsoever. We have that. We have the general con exercises now that are designed to deflect uh, away from the, the ex expected uh, conditioned program responses that have we they've been trying to program us with. And our mind is used to say, oh, I'm supposed to respond this way. Where no, we're, we're very suave and debonair and spiritually aware. And our reason is not impaired. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing, nothing unreal exists. Thank you very much. Uh, in general, I recommend A Course in Miracles. May I recommend A Course in Miracles to you? Uh, uh, translated into Mongolian for you. Uh, that, this exercise. So what we're doing here is we're... we're, we're using spiritual technology this is spiritual technology we you know what better place to to roll out the next great thing uh, except uh, Sil <coughs> silicon valley which is where we're taping from right now the silicon valley is always looking for the next next big thing the next big thing <laughs> and it's right under its nose it doesn't even know the next big thing is actually right here right here already spiritual technology spiritual technology too bad they missed the boat. They missed the boat on this one. <laughs> they spend their lives saying, I'm going to find the next big thing when it comes, when it pops, I'm going to find it, I'm going to find it. Venture capitalists are constantly combing the, 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 the hay, you know, the hillsides. Where is that next big thing? And uh, right under their noses, here it is. It's all about spiritual technology, folks. Get with it. Get with it.
Gotta get with the times, General. What can I say? <laughs> what do you think? I mean, you gotta get with the times, General. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get with the times. <clears throat> gotta be hip, General. Gotta stay loose. Gotta be light. Gotta relax. Re relax your mind, release your thoughts, and let them go, General. General, you gotta be. You gotta move with the times. Is what I'm telling you. So, we are. Uh, are moving with the times here by employing spiritual technology. It's even higher than high tech. <laughs> it's the highest technology, actually. It is the highest technology. So these folks are way behind the back in the old bayou there, swamp the bayou, still hunting alligators down there. And uh, you know. We're we're already using spiritual technology. We're the sophisticated ones, actually. That's a fact. That's a fact. So I am not a body. I am free. I am still spirit, exactly as God created me. That is a fact. I know. I've already successfully realized that I don't need to successfully realize. I know I've already successfully realized that I don't need to successfully realize. I know I've already successfully seen that I don't need to successfully see. I've already successfully seen that I don't need to successfully see. I'm already successfully aware that I don't need to become successfully aware. I don't even need to be successfully aware, but I don't, I don't need to become successfully aware. You can say that way too. But I know I have already, I am already successfully aware that I don't need to be successfully aware. You see, success has, it doesn't exist in reality. So all this stuff we're saying, I need to be successfully aware, successfully light, successfully re attain, successfully reach this, successfully do. No, that's what we have to drop. That's what we have to drop. There's no one succeeding in being enlightened. There's no one in, the, in, in reality succeeding in anything. Because the reality is all-inclusive. We have everything. We, we can't help but succeed at everything. <laughs> there's no such thing as not succeeding. Is there? So there's no such thing as succeeding. There's no dualistic concepts like that. So, maybe you can work on your own general con exercise and do a list of nice little quips and one-liners and bonmos and uh, zingers and, you know, humor, good humor. Give it a try, you know. Imagine the most, <laughs> well, whatever you need to imagine. But it's just that you're put under the pressure. And under that pressure, you just... Right here, General. Philosophically, General. I've often thought that the kind of missing scene that you that is presented here, so not even E.T.A. E. Hoffman could do justice to this, General. It's sort of a requiem for the soul, the intense longing of all that the devils, the infernal quest that we pursue in the Netherlands, the nether worlds of ephemeral shadows, beseeching and calling out for some radiance to burst the bonds of this inequity. All the Oh, the passion, oh, the longing, oh, the horror, General. <laughs> it's like, huh? Huh? What? <laughs> you, don't let, you don't let them get the upper hand, you see. You don't let them get the upper hand. Absolutely not. So more and more and more we use spiritual technology, folks. This is the next big thing. It's here. It's here. Straight from Silicon Valley. Straight from Silicon Valley. Absolutely. It's bigger than the computer. Way bigger. Transcends 
high tech altogether. This is not high tech. This is spiritual tech. Spiritual tech. And of course, they may say we're kind of spiritual nerds or something. That's okay. And maybe they won't get it. You know, they're kind of old fashioned. They're still hanging out with high tech. You know, it's like, what is that? Is that high tech? Really? Really? <laughs> How old is that? It, wow. Yeah. This, this is really old. It still works? Really? Wow. Huh, that was interesting. <laughs> if you tried uh, spiritual tech, uh, I'd be giving that a try. That's kind of what's happening. You know? That's kind of what's happening. Be it happening. Be a happening person, General. Be a happy happening person. <laughs> and yes, Jesus saves today, General. Jesus saves today. So as you go about your your day and stuff, just you know, keep your keep your spirits up, keep the humor going, you know. And and, and it can be high humor, you know. It can help elevate you as you do this. You start realizing, hey, Jesus does save today, doesn't he? Oh, that's high. That's spiritual technology. Jesus saves today. That's spiritual technology, actually. Keep in mind that throughout history, not everybody was following the script. We have this, you know, religious script, Christian script, whatever, that tends, we're told this is the script you're supposed to follow. The aristocrats, the, the rulers, the descendants of the Anunnaki, and, the, you know, the... <laughs> Those who came from the heavens down to earth, uh, they want they, they want us under control. They want us to follow the script. So, so there was this script uh, that supposed to follow that this God is this and this electromagnetic world is that is your home. This is creation. The world is at the center of the universe. Center of creation. God's creation is the human being. This is the highest creation. You're supposed to be happy here. And if you're not, the feeling of sin and guilt is because is being caused by your body because you're not uh, using your body properly. And uh, so this script. Uh, this is just this is a script they want us to follow, but not everybody followed that script. The great Christian mystics, there's a tradition in Christianity, didn't really follow that script at all. They actually used spiritual technology to offset the CCC. Actually, the CCC has been prowling around here for quite some time, <laughs> trying to get its claws on this place. And uh, they used a great deal of spiritual technology. Absolutely, they did. They knew that God is love. God is all forgiving. God is not some angry Jehovah. You know, like I'm gonna if you don't uh, uh, if you don't put a smile on your face, I'm gonna annihilate every last one of you. you know? <laughs> and so, plenty of plenty of us throughout the ages have not followed the script, and we uh, not had such badly impaired reason. But you know, the the, the this the outer shell of it all, you know, has this script to it. You know, it's supposed to be knuckleheads. All the easier to keep us under control and keep us slaving here for <laughs> milady's vanity, actually, you know. So, well, I need to gotta get rid of that guilt in the body. I don't know why I feel bad, but I know if I just have something nicer, I won't feel so bad. You know, I need another string of pearls. Come on, get my get that for me. Hurry up. I don't care what I, what did you have to do. Just do it. If you have to run the slaves into the ground, but you know, do it. Get some new slaves. What's the problem here? What kind of wimp are you? Come on, get it done. Just get it done. I don't care how you get it done. Just get it done. I don't want to know how you get it done. Just get it done. And if you don't get it done, there's gonna be hell to pay. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. Okay. So. Yes. <laughs> What do I think generally? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Together we are giant, General. Together we are giant. Comrade, it's been so long to see me. Oops. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me clumsily stumble into you, comrade. You could do always do a practical hello job. Whoa! <laughs> General, sorry. Knocked you down here. Let me pick you up. Oh, gosh, I'm so clumsy. I don't know what got into me. What do I think, General? I think all the world's a stage. And all, all of us are just players, just actors on the stage. 
<laughs> full of sound and fury, signifying absolutely nothing, General. Check it out. Shakespeare. So, cannot get reacting to the world the way they, they want us to react to it. The problem is, of course, they'll insist, this, wow, you're totally eccentric. And, of course, we will say, actually, we are nullifying eccentricity. It's you that are going into eccentric mode, very eccentric, which means uh, you're less and less aware of what, what normalcy is. Normalcy, yeah. So I, when I look at like Romano Maharshi, more and more I say, oh, this, this, this is normal. This, this, here's someone who's normal, thank God. There's at least one normal, normal you know, spirit in the world here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, General. Praise the God. All blessings and mercy. Mercy upon us. General, have you seen have you seen the button? I think I lost my top button on my shirt and you know, I don't know where it went. And it's like I mean, it's around here somewhere. It's around here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. I can't I don't know. Have you seen it? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> they think we're completely daft, you know, absolutely completely daft. But this is actually exercise in spiritual technology. So you got to move on up. We're moving on up from the east side to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Come on, General, get with it. Get with the new technology, folks. It's how we avoid becoming bizarrely eccentric. That's actually how we avoid it, is maintaining our perspective, spiritual perspective. Keep using the spiritual technology. I'm not a body. I am free. I am still spirit exactly as God created me. I mean, what is more eccentric than sitting down in front of a television set and watching those shows? I mean, that is so bizarrely eccentric. I, I, I say, you know, I, you couldn't pay me all the money in the world to do that. <laughs> it's, I mean, the, the shows are completely psycho. Yeah, just absolutely psycho. And uh, does a normal person do that? Does someone who's normal spend, spend their time watching something that's absolutely psycho and is trying to tell you that that's normal? No, they don't. They say, hey, that's extremely eccentric behavior. I'm not going to become uh, eccentric like that. I'll forget what I am, you know? I might think there's something outside of what I am. I mean, I, mean, I, forget, I may forget that I'm all-inclusive. You know, we can't have that now, can we? Bless your heart, General. I know you're a fine, fine man, but I think you might just be a little cuckoo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no offense intended, of course. So you need, do need to stay one up on the CCC as they try to tell us that they're somehow the ultimate. You know, we are the ultimate coming from the cosmos, speaking to you now, you will obey. And uh, we say, what do we say? <laughs> we use our general con training in such instances. How'd you get such a deep voice? Man, I've always wanted such a deep voice. Oh, you could do the basso profundo parts and, you know, I could maybe sing with the Jordanaires, be the low, be the low part there. Be the low, get down the low notes. Yeah, how do you get that low voice anyway? That kind of reverb, you know, too much reverb on that. It's too much reverb. <laughs> or maybe more reverb, more reverb, more reverb, more cow. What do you, more cowbell, guy, more cowbell. Come on, more cowbell. Uh, <laughs> people of Earth. <laughs> 
You could, you could you show me where the world is. I don't seem to see a world, actually. <laughs> Only eccentrics see the see a world, actually. Only the bizarrely eccentric see a world. I'll tell you the truth. The the normal ones they don't see a world. They don't see anything outside of their mind. <laughs> they, they just see the, the infinite oneness. They don't see anything outside of our mind. They don't see any situations or circumstances, actually. They just see the perfection of, the, of, of the allness. That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. Buddha was normal. Jesus is normal. You know, Ramana Maharshi, normal. These are normal. Anchampa, normal. This is normalcy. We, we, we live in an insane asylum. <laughs> there's, there's no toys around it. Well, bizarre is eccentricity, actually. So, of course, you cannot keep kowtowing to bizarre eccentricity when they say, we want you to respond in this way. And we say, <laughs> hey, wow, what's that? Do you see that? Do you believe in UFOs, General? I just, I think I just saw a UFO. Really? My God, it's like this, and lights and stuff. General, I'd like to give you this opportunity to testify to Jesus Christ, to give your, uh, to repent and give your spirit to Jesus. Right now, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now. <laughs> There's no better time, General. There's no better time. You can't, can't afford to waste this moment, General. I'm giving a call to Christ right now, right here, right now. Get down on your knees and, and give your life to Jesus right now. <laughs> Wonderful, right? Yeah. What is giving your life to Jesus it means? You decide you're going to be normal. You're going to decide to be normal. That's what it means. Because Jesus is the example of normalcy for us. God said His only begotten Son <laughs> to tell us what's normal. We've forgotten what's normal. So, hey, this is what you are. This is what I created you as. Come on. Get back to being normal. Stop, stop this bizarre masquerade. You know, this eccentricity of trying to objectify reality. Da 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 dum dum dum. Hey General, all you need is love, man. All you need is love, 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 love. All you need is love. Da 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 dum. All you need is love. Da 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 dum. All you need is love, love. Love is all you need. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, dig that, General. I can dig it. I can dig it. You can dig it. You can dig it. Can you dig it, General? Can you dig it? And you know, we're, we're trying to, you know, we're giving them the opportunity to, to lose sight of insanity <laughs> and start gravitating toward normalcy, actually. Gravitating toward normalcy. And you can't gravitate toward normalcy when you're reacting in a scripted way that they want you to react with impaired reason. If you stay upon a script of impaired reason, where are you going to go? Go. You're going to end up end up crucifying people, right? <laughs> Thinking that that's saving you. The, the guilt was in the body. We got to crucify the body. We got to get rid of that guilt. And once we get rid of that guilt, all bodies are going to be happy, you know. And you're going to end up, you know, woo woo. You're going to end up really over the over the around the turn, over the bend, and <laughs> upside down and backwards. And not exactly barrel laughs. So we don't want to get pulled entrained into bizarre eccentricity, which takes us away. We're so confused we don't know you we don't know how to get rid of the confusion. This is the problem. Uh, we want to stay you know, dripping the light fantastic. We want to stay aware, alert, knowing, hey, I don't need to become what I already am. I don't need to objectify what I what I already am. I know I'm successful. I know I've already I know I've already succeeded. So I know I'm, I know I'm already successfully I am. <laughs> I know I'm six already successfully I am. I don't I know I don't need to be 
become I am. I don't need to successfully become I am. I know I'm already successfully I am. I don't need to successfully become what I am. I know I'm already successfully I am. I don't need to successfully become I am. You see, it's when they're on that long and dusty trail, you walk in that, you gotta walk that that long, lonesome road of bizarre centricity trying to become I am, trying to objectify I am, so you can say I am the greater I am that now sees the lesser I am. That's the long, lonesome trail, tears. And that's where you find out where does a little tear come from, that's where it comes from. Pineapple Express, you know, it's on its way, choo 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 choo, uh, chugging its way, <laughs> this way. Fifty times, fifty times more water in the uh, in this Pineapple Express than the Mississippi River Delta, flow out from Gulf of Mexico. Okay, probably yeah, they say a lot of water. This is the atmosphere it's carrying a lot of water, and uh, it's supposed to pour. It's supposed to be a biblical pour in a biblical way. when it gets here. But it's going to take its own sweet time to get here. Spiritual technology, spiritual technology, spiritual technology. Be the first on your block to be the proud possessor of some spiritual technology. Be a hobbyist, be an enthusiast. Yeah, we're, we're the pioneer nerds of spiritual technology here. <laughs> Absolutely. It's not so hip, you know, yet. The months the backwoods folks, those guys, those folks are still using their own, that old stuff, that old technology. Still kind of hitch the, hitching their wagon to that kind of stuff. Haven't quite, you know, heard about it yet. Spiritual technology, haven't heard about it yet so much. But give them some time. So we'll keep, uh, keep rolling it out. Spiritual technology, keep rolling it out. You know, this beta test, they've been beta testing for quite some time now. Now we're rolling it out. And uh, this version, then we'll get maybe a little better version. You see, you know, keep tweaking it, improving the spiritual, improving the spiritual technology. And uh, I hope every student in the world is able to be raised on this uh, advanced, super advanced spiritual technology. Yeah, and it's a shame that they're still being held back by this high, old-fashioned, high-tech stuff. stuff a that's been around for so long and been so discredited and, and really keeping people, their reason so severely impaired. It's an absolute shame. I can't believe that, you know, people are still doing that. Are they still doing that? Yeah, I think on planet Earth they're still doing that. Wow. <laughs> That's really neat to have a missionary, a mission to the planet Earth to help out those poor people there. They're still hampered by high technology. My God, it's hard to believe, isn't it? With what's available to us now, the spiritual technology, they're still using that stuff. Wow, you just like, you need to send some missionaries there and, and, and help them out. My gosh. really feel feel for those people what they're missing out on holy cow <laughs> <coughs> I 
drugs can't stop it. Here it comes. Ah, <laughs> it's already happening, isn't it? <laughs> you better find out. There's nothing outside of your mind. And quickly, you know. High tech this. But seriously, I mean, the high tech is really like some, you know, tribe in, in deepest, darkest Congo voodoo, you know, still using this crazy voodoo stuff, you know, juju, juju voodoo stuff. This is what it's like. I mean, it's so primitive. It's so incredibly primitive. It's ridiculous. It's, you know, witch doctor stuff. Uh, so, hey, you know. Listen to the missionaries, they have, they have to say, high tech is not it, high tech is low tech, actually. High tech is the old low tech stuff, and we have now spiritual technology. Spirit is very simple, I'll start out, I am not a body, I am free. I am still spirit exactly as God created me. It's a very nice creed to use right there. That'll get you started. And again, failure to to become greater than what we are doesn't mean then that we're less than what we are failure to become greater than what we are doesn't then mean that we're less than what we are does it it just means that we're normal we're the same as what we are so this attempt to be greater than what we are the fact that it's, it's a failure it's a stone-cold failure from the very get-go doesn't mean it does not mean therefore that we are less than what we are. No, not at all. Not in the slightest bit. Yeah, there's a lot of wind, a lot of stuff moving around. It's supposed to be some good breeze that's coming through here. Yeah, I mean, in this world, if it feels like you're living in some primitive, 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 primitive backwater, it's just it's about as backwaterish as you can get in this place. And you just think, wow. <laughs> What's wrong with these folks? <laughs> Let's see. Holy cow. And yeah. But you know, they're, they're, when you're bizarrely eccentric, you don't realize it. You, do, you don't realize it. You think, hey, everybody does this, man. What are you talking about? Uh, no, <laughs> there's no spirit, spiritual tech will help you out. And, and you realize you leave this nonsense behind trying to objectify reality. You're not hurt, no. We, that's not something that God said. I want you to, I want you to figure out a way to objectify reality for me. Yeah, we've got all this high tech stuff working on this, you know. So, no, that's God did not say, tell us that that we're supposed to try and objectify reality as if reality were an object and we're the, the subject. And so I'm just rattling on like this because it's a lot better than doing something else, actually. Because I know I can't go to YouTube and find something better that I want to watch <laughs> any, any, anywhere, any place, you know. I can watch an African great parrot, you know, <laughs> say, start, you know, talk. One of those talking parrots. And it's like, oh, okay, okay. What? What? Hello? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's funny. That's great. After a while, I'm tired of the talking grays, you know? I don't want those anymore. It's enough. <laughs> so, uh, you know, after a while, it's just the, the bloom is off the rose. The, you only get so many chuckles out of that stuff. Uh, and so, really, what we like better is spiritual humor. Spiritual humor. It, it's you know it cl clues us in say hey yeah I can listen to that I can listen to that that's nice let's recover our, our humor we've lost our, our humor our humor is so lowbrow right now 
I mean, it's, I think the Neanderthals are looking down on us on this planet, tell you the truth. They eventually think, wow, these people are really far gone, man. <laughs> so, wow. Because uh, the humor on this planet right now is, is, in, is, is in the gutter. I mean, it's so low brow. You know, even so low brows, it's just. can't even describe it. He said, and I just chuckle and say, wow, that's, that's quite low. Yeah, it's all a divine comedy, General. It's all a divine comedy. Don't worry, God loves us, Jesus loves us, I love you, General. <laughs> uh, I love you, man. Yeah, how do you think? I love you, man. I love you, man. And uh, Jesus loves you, too. Jesus, uh, Jesus loves me, and I know he loves you, too. And that's absolutely the gospel truth. And he just says, come on back to normalcy, you know, as quickly as you can, because uh, I know you're not exactly enjoying your little detour so sojourn into the mysteries of futility. Yeah. So, come on home. Come on back home. So, the world takes itself too seriously, to say the least. I think that this is all, this is it, this is it. <laughs> you just gotta get the right car, you know, that's all, that's all, that's what it's all about. Get the right car, the body's gonna be happy, the body's gonna be happy, the guilt's gonna be gone, the guilt's gonna be gone, and uh, we say, hey, we did it, we objectified reality and everything's fine. We're now greater than God. Just because we got that, A, you know, A8, Audi A8 or something. This is, I was driving the day and uh, there's this real slow VW van, man. It was like in the, from the 60s, like a 67 or 60. I mean, it was an old VW van. You don't see those very often. You see them all the time, right? I mean, this was an old hippie van. I mean, these, and these, it was chugging up this mountain. And, and it was doing like about 30, you know. And it was just gasping for air. And I said, I gotta get around this VW van. And everybody can see it. I mean, you can see it from a long ways away. So, holy cow, this 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 dear soul is uh, is 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 keeping it real, you know, going slow, keeping it real. So so I looked in my left uh, left mirror, side mirror, and a car passed. I said, Oh great, here's a space and there's this black black car back quite a ways. I said, Okay. But then I looked, I looked, I said, I saw I saw the black car suddenly accelerate. And I said, what, what was that? What was, what was he doing? He can see I need to get over, and the whole thing's obvious. And he sees yeah. there's a space there, and I, I started to you know, go, go. He's accelerating, and he accelerated really fast. And wow, he closed, and I said, whoa, this is, this is crazy. What's the matter with this person? And he went past me. But the thing was, there were cars, already cars in front of him, so he couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> he just didn't want to let me in. I, he didn't want anyone to get ahead of him like that. And it was someone on an Audi. I think it was an Audi, a black Audi A8. I tend to, I tend to run these people in black Audis, or to be very aggressive drivers for some reason. Uh, maybe it's the same one. I keep running into the same one. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, it's possible, right? Uh, anyway, he wasn't gonna. Or he, she, I don't know. I didn't look, but they were. They were not going to let me in and get around that VW van. No way in heck. Nobody gets in front of me. You know. <laughs> and I just like, ah, you know, I just, get, just ah, flick the headlights, you know, like, what is your problem? That's pathetic, really pathetic. That you, you, you're such an ego trip, you can't even allow somebody, all I had to do was just keep going normal speed, and I could have gone right, right out and then around the VW, just, you know, that's what everybody else does. That under, we understand this road, there's some very slow drivers, you let people in. Heck, no, he wasn't going to let me in. <laughs> 
So, okay, have a nice day. Have a nice day. But anyway, I guess he's found his, or he or she has found, has found their dream car. And they're happy now. And in fact, they're saying, you know what, I'm so happy, I don't even need to let anybody in anymore. You see, I don't even have any guilt anymore. It's gone. I can just not let anybody in and get in front of me. That's perfectly great, and I feel wonderful about it. And, you know, greed is good. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe if you just get a black eye on Audi A8, your guilt is gone. And you can just do whatever the heck you want to do. And don't have to worry about anybody else anymore. Wow, that's terrific. So, we realize that we can use the spiritual technology. We don't have to be all bogged down in the, uh, you know, intellectualism of philosophical systems and what we're supposed to think about it and this and this and that. Use the technology we have. Use these affirmations. These affirmations are powerful, powerful, powerful. The very fact that I was able to, you know, not be rocked by this general who's reeking in my face with blazing coal eyes and... What do you think? He wants the, he wants the answer from me, and I just, uh, wow, <laughs> wow, General. <laughs> you know, it works. It works, and we need. You know, the problem is you get bogged down all this philosophical stuff and trying to figure out the spiritual path and this this school of philosophy and this school of philosophy. What's the difference in you know uh, comparative theologies of this? And you know, you're not using the affirmations. You're not getting used to them. You're not you're not getting doing what you need to do, you need to get the spiritual technology going in your life. Use it. Get it going. Just don't window shop. Window shopping isn't going to get it done. And we need to use the spiritual technology because the bad guys and girls are, you know, they're not playing fair. They're not playing fair at all, are they? <laughs> yeah. They're trying to knock us down. So, you know, we need, we need to... Uh, we need to be aware of that. And uh, be protected. The spiritual technology protects us from this. I am not a body. I am free. I am still spirit exactly as God created me. And I know I'm already successfully what I am. I'm already successfully I am. I'm already successfully I am. I don't need and I don't need to successfully become what I am. I don't need to successfully become what I am. I don't need to successfully become what I am. And failure to be greater than what I am doesn't mean mean then that I'm lesser than what I am. Failure to become greater than what I am doesn't mean then that I am lesser than what I am. It just means that I am still I am. That's all. And with that, I suppose is a good time to wrap it up. So very great. We'll see how it goes, right? That's it for this one.